welcome back to Aspire. Now let's talk about watches. Basel World, the world's largest watch fair, is just around the corner. Enough buzz getting generated around it. We're telling you about the launches that we've already heard of. Luxury watchmaker Breguet is set to launch this at Basel World this month. Their classic tourbillon extra thin automatic in platinum. It's one of the thinnest tourbillon watches in the world. Don't miss the open tipped hands in blued steel. Chopin will unveil this limited edition LUC 1963. It has a pocket watch movement with the sides made of 18 karat rose gold. Also a small second subdial at 9 o'clock. Then there's Omega that has updated its classic Speedmaster Mark II. It features three chronograph counters, one for 30 minutes at 3 o'clock, a 12 hour counter at 6 and the small second counter at 9 o'clock. Jacques Drou's new version of the famous Grand Second SW has the iconic two off-center dials, but it's sportier this time, decorated with the Côte de Genève motif. The components of the dial, the index fingers, the hands, the rings are all made of white gold. Blancpain will bring out the new Villeray collection, the dial made in Grand Fu enamel with leaf hands. It's set in red gold, it has a mechanical movement with automatic winding. All that buzz heading into Basel world. Now you wouldn't be surprised if many of these luxury watch brands are catering more and more to the east, to countries like India and China. The latest collection we've seen is that of Swiss luxury watch brand Piaget. Now they've got these intricately designed dials which feature palaces and even elephants. Here's a closer look. Jagalakut's enameled river so of 1949 with Hindu divinity. The Hermes Cape Cod email Grand View of 2008 with its paisley and flower motif. The Cartier Santos 100 of 2009 with the Taj Mahal. All tributes to India. And now this, Piaget's latest collection, A Mythical Journey. It's a journey between Asia and between Europe and we're following the path of the uh, road, the Silk Route and also the Route of Spices. We did in fact a lot of research about, about India, about the different topic, topics we could use in the collection and we chose three different the thematic, three different topics. First one is uh, architecture, second one are animals and the last one are symbols. And we, went, we wanted to really capture the spirit of India and put it into watches. And so we see a depiction of the famous Lake Palace of Udaipur, only eight in this limited edition, each set in 18 karat white gold and 40 cut diamonds. Or this, the elephant, the animal of kings in the brand's Emperado and Altiplano models. Each limited to eight pieces, the Emperado in 18 karat rose gold and more than 350 brilliant cut diamonds. The Altiplano with more than 70 brilliant cut diamonds on the bezel and a trumpeting elephant on the dial. The Altiplano double shoe celebrates the peacock in 18 karat rose gold. With all these designs firmly embedded in Indian ethos, it begs the question, why? Piaget, we've been operating in India for, long, for years now and uh, I can tell you and I can confirm to you that one of the most exclusive pieces uh, produced by Piaget and the most expensive pieces have been purchased by Indian customers and, and this is where it shows how important it is India for us. Usually when we get some demands, we get some demands on, on very limited pieces from our Indian uh, customers. Propelled by its growing demand for exclusivity, brands like Piaget and Panerai are only too willing to oblige the Indian market. Many like Vashiro Constantine are delving into India's rich history for inspiration. At the SIHH Watch Fest in Geneva this year, the brand introduced this timepiece centered around Indian manuscripts, all hand engraved. 
So like the hands of a watch, luxury seems to be doing a full circle to woo India all over again. And Aspire says it's not a moment too soon. And that's about all we could back into this edition of Aspire. Thanks indeed for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.